all right good morning everybody welcome back for another video i'm your host bears g and today i'm gonna be doing something different i'm gonna be fishing two styles of bait well one style of bait two different types or two different brands so it's gonna be like a spin-off tail spin-off or spin-off whatever you want to call it so the first bait is gonna be obviously the jigpara spin i got two sizes i got the 18 gram and i got the seven gram which is a quarter ounce three quarter ounce these two are going to go against these two tail spins right here the bps xps tail spin quarter ounce and three quarter ounce so you guys stay tuned for this we got to you know fish both of these take turns maybe 15 minutes each which one sticks more uh, my theory is that they're both going to catch fish they're both similar baits just different brand different blades we'll see how it produced so throughout this video i'll be explaining to you guys why am i doing this and hopefully you guys stick around for the rest so stay tuned guys let's get on some fish all right i'm gonna start off with the jigparo spin three quarter ounce just to get it way out there let's do it guys let's uh have this spin off go in effect big difference with these two I notice uh, this guy doesn't come with a clip Jake Parr has come with a clip but my rods already pre-rigged with clips so I'm going to remove the clip and put it to the side and clip it onto one of my combos that I already rigged it with a leader and a clip and everything sun's coming up my headlamp is dead I'm just taking my time right now all right I don't have my headlamp so bear with the darkness just for a bit sun is coming up it's light on my end but the camera lighting is not the best there we go oh that's a macro well i just saw a whole school of macro come up but this one is a it's a spotty a little spotty you guys may not see it, but this is the first spotty of the morning. Right here, sorry guys, my, the first couple minutes, may, the video may be dark, because there's no light. But here's the first catch of the morning. Right here, first spotty. On a Jakapara spin. Let's get another one. Sun needs to come up already so you can see the action. Oh, there we go. Feels a lot better. Ah, oh, it's a macro. It's a big macro. Look at that thing. It's a freaking giant macro. Alright, stop. I don't want to hook myself. Alright, you know what? These guys are dangerous when they're hooked on two trebles, three treble, one treble. Unpredictable. Right at the bottom of the lip. There you go. Freaking giant macro. <laughs> All right, sun's coming up. Two fish right before the sun came up. Let's try to get some more. All right, I see schools of mackerel out there from here. I can see the top water, some movement in the top. Just fan cast around, guys. Always check your bait too if they're hung up. If they're hung up, they're not gonna swim right. You're gonna be miss wasting time. Like this bait just stabbed itself in the face. All right. getting bit all right i'm just casting out let it sink and slow rolling them all the way at the bottom oh i 
Oh, I saw the blade come off too. Dang, brand new bait. This is the big downfall of this bait. Is the blade comes off. God damn it. Let's switch it over to the BPS. This one has a small teardrop blade. Smaller body profile, same weight. Just didn't come with a, a clip. That shouldn't be a deal breaker though. Damn, I saw the blade come off right in front of me too. So it doesn't have as much shine to it like the Jigpara would. Oh, right there. Boiled right in front of me. Oh! Don't do me like that. Oh, right there, right at the drop. Right at the drop. Little Mackie. This is like bait size right here. Alright, that's one fish for the BPS Talesman. Oh, big old school macro. Big macro. Holy crap. Just cruising on by. I think the issue with this bait is that the blade doesn't give out a lot of shine or vibration compared to the Jigparas. Well, I'll explain more towards the end of the video when I do, you know, compare and contrast kind of thing. I'm trying to slow roll this at the bottom. I'm trying to get a bass to stick it. I'm not trying to get a macro, but if a macro sticks it, a macro sticks it. There's so much bait out here right now. It's unbelievable. I've seen maybe about 15 pelicans already diving in front of me. <laughs> a macro just came and hit my line right there. All right, I'm gonna switch it over to a jig part. I know I have more 18 grams. So I'm gonna use an existing 18 gram that is in my bag right now. It's a big bummer that the blade came off. Major Crab needs to fix that issue. I've had it happen to me many times already. All right, I have a, another one. So, let's see if this one produces. The Jigparo spin caught me two fish in a matter of 10 minutes. BPS tail spin, two bites, one fish. Same size, just a different color. That's an issue with the back hook too, getting caught up in the, in the blade, but Happens once every like five, six casts. I know it's annoying, but it's the bait. There you go. Yeah, I think the blade makes a big difference between the two baits. Not a macro. We got both troubles in them. They're boiling way over there. It's macro. Definitely macro. But that was a, that was a bite. There we go. Now that's a fish. That's a fish. There we go. <laughs> what I'm after. You've probably followed it all the way in. Oh god, how am I gonna lip you? Uh alright, let's do that. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We get it. Your hook pretty bad. Waste none in the gill. The back hook didn't puncture you, so you're good on that. 
right there. Second spot of the day on a Jakpara spin. I'll take it. What I did with that guy is that I felt to bite, then I stopped. Cranked it a little bit, pop it, and then bam, ate it. Well, a little he swiped at it, but he ate it. Sometimes popping the Jakpara spin, your blade gets tangled up with your line or your hooks, and it's frustrating sometimes, but I don't pop it all the time. Some people do, some people don't. I just like to steady retrieve and have them hit it like a freight train. Wham! They're hitting my line. That's how crazy the macros are now. They're hitting my line. See, they're blowing up all over my line. Macros like the easiest fish to catch out here. You can throw anything at them. You can throw air at them. They'll probably eat it. But to stick the bass, you gotta hover along the bottom. Try to find the bottom, feel for the bottom, and you work it from there. Depending on the cadence, depending on the current, how fast you gotta work it, how slow, it, it varies. You know, conditions change. Not every day the current's gonna be like this. There's days where current's ripping at like 50 miles per hour and you just can't get to the bottom. Look, they're hitting my line. They're really hungry, huh? Maybe I just have to tie in a little spook or something and get some. <laughs> oh my God, they're hitting my line. It makes it feel like I'm getting a bite, but they're hitting my line. Oh, they're chasing it, I can see them. All right, you know what? Let's try this. I'm gonna cast it out there. Then I'm gonna just float it at the top. I'm just gonna crank it fast at the top and see if a macro bombs on it like it's bombing on my line. Rod tip up high. Let's see. Oh, right there. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> burning it at the top, stuck a macro. Yep, just burning it at the top. They're hitting the surface right now. Jakparo's killing it. Let's burn it again. Watch. Burn it with the rod tip up. You'll stay like maybe a couple inches below the water. They'll hit it. This. Let's see if we get another one. Right there. <laughs> They're hitting it though. You guys heard that? It's level when you're cranking it, it just goes to a dead stop. Oh, right there. He's right behind me. Right there. <laughs> that is so cool. You know what? This is addicting right now. I'm going to mess around with this. Then I flip over to the BPS right after. For right now, this is pretty dope. Oh, right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, this guy's putting up a fight. Oh, he has a whole school following him. I'm gonna switch over to the BPS and see if, if the same thing happens. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two baits. They're the same size, about three quarter ounce. This one comes with one treble and looks like a, a pretty cheap treble. Not the best, but I did catch one macro on it. Smaller blade, same size bait, but smaller blade. This one doesn't come with a, what's it called? A clip, the Jigpara does. That's, a, I guess you can say that's a plus that the Jigpara does. You guys stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll explain the price differences and all that other good stuff. Let's grind this on the top. Let's. Let's glide this and see if I get something to stick it on the surface. All right, they're busting all over. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this one feels better. Oh, it's a lot bigger macro, that's why. <laughs> all right, only one trouble. I don't gotta worry about getting stuck by the back trouble if it's not hooked. But this guy is huge and he is not having it. Let's check the hooks. Hook's still good. He ate all three trebles. Well, all three hooks on the treble. That's cool. All right, they're hitting the surface with this. So far, one. I can feel the blade spinning in the rod. That's the cool thing about blade baits. You can feel the action. You can feel the flutter. It's like crank bait fishing. You can feel the vibration. It's it's dope. Castability, same. Just a chunk of iron, or a chunk of lead, you wanna call it. There we go. All right, one more grind to the top of the water. Then I'll start working it for bass. 
Oh no, the back. Oh, there we go. No, it felt different. There you go, a bass on the BPS. There you go, right there. Little guy. It's pretty cool. All right, let's try. Steve, let's st stick a bigger one. Let's stick a bigger one. Thinking about fishing for spotties, they're always hugging the bottom or right on top of the uh, grass line. So you gotta look for that bottom, feel the bottom, feel for the structure, feel for whatever's down there. Hard bottom, soft bottom, I don't freaking know, but they're down there. And they'll bite once something cruises by. It's like a reaction bait to them. Making all that noise, that flash. Bounce at the bottom, I guess that's base they react more to the bounce. Barely hooked. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's do a breakdown real quick with these two baits, the BPS XPS tailspin with or against the Jikpara spin 7 gram. I didn't throw the smaller sizes because I just felt like throwing heavier, but you guys catch my drift on what I'm trying to do here. Big difference between these two is the price. One of these is about eight bucks, eight to nine, ten bucks max for a Jikpara spin. One of these guys is three nineteen to four bucks, or three dollars to four bucks a piece. So you can get two of these for the price of one of these. But here's the catch: this, these guys come with um, what's it called? A glowed, glowed a gold blade rather than a silver blade these guys come with only silver blades a single hook well obviously the smaller size comes with, comes with only one hook and their bodies uh the body shape is kind of similar this is more of a boxy you can say more of a boxy shape bait this guy's more round but moving up this is when it gets different when you move up a size to half ounce three quarter ounce so for the three quarter ounce Yes, it looks the same thing as the quarter ounce one. So this is the three quarter ounce, one single hook and a teardrop blade silver. But it doesn't come with a clip. And it comes with, uh, I believe these are mustad hook. It's already dulling out a little bit. It's not as sticky as it was when it came out the package, just like anything else. Stock hooks are not always the best. These guys come with two trebles and a bigger blade and a clip. So you're paying more money for the bigger blade, a better swivel, an extra hook and a clip. Their bodies are completely different. This is more boxy right here. This guy's more round. So they swim completely different. These two baits right here, I put them to the test. They both do catch fish. Pros and cons. So let's talk about the BPS one first. The pros with these is the price itself. Three bucks or four bucks for one. So if you're on a budget and you want to grab two baits rather than one, these guys are the way to go. That's probably the only pro about it. They do catch fish. You guys seen it in this video. The cons on this bait, is that the hooks aren't the best they look like cheap mustad hooks and they come with a small teardrop blade rather than the jigpara coming with a big gold blade and it doesn't come with obviously a clip that's the cons of it the pros obviously it works it catches fish macro i caught barracuda with these before and also i caught bass so you guys seen in the video it works just fine but you guys see the cons smaller blade no clip and for a bigger size, a single hook. And it's not the best hook in the world. And it's cheaper. So moving on to the Jigpara blade, or not, Jigpara spin I mean. The pros and cons. To start with the pros. The pros, they make dope colors. Comes with a big blade, but imagine it gold rather than silver. Two treble hooks, I already mentioned the clip. Your hooker ratio on the bigger Jigparas are a lot, you know, a lot better you'll most likely be able to stick more fish with this guy because you have the extra treble in the back now let's move on to the cons there's a couple cons about this is that the hooks that come with these jigpara spins which is not this one to be exact 
Let me, let, actually, let me go grab it. The stock hooks, which are these silver ones right here, they tend to bend out. And also, I lost the blade. Split rings they use for the blade, I have had it happen to me multiple times. Blades come loose, gone. That's the con. And also, another con is that, you've probably seen in the video, the back hook always gets caught up. Maybe two out of 10 casts, two out of five casts, give or take, depending on current or depending on what the hell ever is going on on there. Gets hung up in the split rings, wraps around, the hook just like that it messes up the action then you have to come back in recast and you know wasting a lot of time you probably missed that big bite but that's the con of this bait you're paying 10 bucks for one of these you're paying four bucks for one of these i made this video just for you guys to know that there are alternatives if you guys can't find those jigpara spins you can always find these at bass pro shops or some local stores carry them here in san diego but four bucks a piece can't beat that and of course, I have some of these in my tackle tray just in case I want to use it. I mean, it's probably better in different conditions and different locations I fish, but I tested them out here at Harbor Island. And you guys know Harbor Island, it's very easy to catch fish out here. So I wanted to test and see which one produces more. And at the end of the day, they both produce about the same amount of fish. But which one got bit more was the Jigpara. I missed a lot of bites, but that one got bit a lot more. Only because I'm thinking the bigger blade, more noise, flashier color. You guys can decide from there. The packaging obviously comes just like this and like this. And the only difference with this, these two is they're smaller and they both have smaller blades, obviously, smaller body. And for Jigpara, the smaller they get, they only get one treble. These guys, the bigger or smaller they get, they only get one treble. So take that, you know, take account of that. But I hope this video helped you guys out a lot on deciding on, you know, different alternatives to use, different spins, different brands, different companies, or whatever store carries what. So I hope you guys take that into consideration and to shop around and, ex you know, experiment with the baits. And that's what I did with this video, a little spin off. But I'm gonna conclude the video right there. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you guys are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And hit the thumbs up if you already subscribed and this video helped you out. But as always, good fishing. Peace out.